I'm a big fan of the PlayStation 2, and while I love playing those games on its original hardware, I can't deny the convenience of emulating those games on something like the Steam Deck. It's super nice to be able to have easy access to a large library of these games, especially when some of these are starting to really climb in price. So for this video, I decided to turn my Steam Deck into the ultimate PS2 for both handheld and docked play. Let's get into it. Now, to emulate PS2 games on the Steam Deck, you can simply just download PCSX2 from the Discovery app in desktop mode and just manually set everything up that way. But in my opinion, the best way to emulate games on the Steam Deck is actually to utilize EmuDeck. EmuDeck is basically this really cool piece of software that downloads and installs all of the emulators you likely would want. And it makes a really easy file management system to store all of your needed BIOS files and ROMs. In addition, it also gives you a Steam ROM manager allowing for easy customization and organization of all of your ROMs. Now I'm not going to go over the entire process step by step by step just because I think setting up EmuDeck in and of itself is relatively straightforward and I think if you follow this video it should give you enough to get going with PS2 emulation on your Steam Deck. That being said if you do want a more thorough step-by-step -step guide definitely check out the video by Retro Game Core. I'll leave a link in the description down below. They do a much better job at sort of explaining explaining what everything does and uh, yeah if you want to check their video out go ahead and check the description down below just leave a like on this video before you step away. Alright once you've got EmuDeck installed you basically need two additional things you need a PS2 BIOS and the ROMs that you want to play. Unfortunately, due to legal reasons, I can't exactly tell you where to find either of these things, but it's not like Googling PS2 BIOS or PS2 ROMs wouldn't find you the results that you need, right? Anyways, once you have those files, go ahead and copy and paste them into their appropriate folders. Open File Manager, and either in the internal storage or on your micro SD card, you'll see an emulation folder. Inside that, you'll see a folder that says BIOS and one that says ROMs. Copy and paste or drag and drop your PS2 BIOS files into the BIOS folder. For your games, you're going to open the ROMs folder. Find the PS2 folder and place them inside there. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and open the Steam ROM Manager. First, after opening, just make sure that you have the PCSX2 emulator toggled on. Then on the top left, you're going to go ahead and click Preview. You should see a Generate App List button on the bottom. Go ahead and click on that. After doing so, just to double check that your PS2 ROMs are detected, you can click the Filter by Category drop-down at the top and select PS2. Here you can see what games are being detected and you can select which artwork options you want displayed in Steam or upload your own. Once you have everything how you like it, hit Save App List and wait for the event log to say Done. And you're all set. What makes this whole process super cool is that once all of this is done, if you go into Game Mode, you'll now see your games in your library under the Collections tab making everything super clean and organized looking and super convenient to play. All right, so yeah, PS2 emulated games are working just fine. I can play them in handheld, but I still wanna be able to play them on the TV. So to, I guess, sort of add a little cherry on top, I decided to pick up this controller from Retro Fighters. This is their Defender controller, and it's essentially a retro PlayStation controller meant for the PS1, PS2, and PS3. And what's really cool for this use case is that the controller comes with a 2.4 gigahertz adapter that plugs into the back of my Steam Deck's dock. And yeah, it works great. So now I can have a dedicated controller for my Steam Deck that works great with the PlayStation emulated games and it's even low latency to boot. If you wanna see a more in-depth review on this controller, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below. All in all, the Steam Deck is great for PS2 emulation, and so far everything I've thrown at it, from Jack 2 to Persona 4 and GTA, have all performed really well. And because these aren't modern AAA games I'm playing, I get a surprising amount of playtime out of these when playing in handheld. For me, the biggest selling point is just how streamlined this whole thing can become thanks to EmuDeck. Being able to have access to these emulated games in Steam Deck's own game mode is just a really cool and streamlined experience, and frankly, it's just quite amazing what can be done with the Steam Deck thanks to its awesome community. And yeah, that about does it for this one, everyone. Thank you, as always, for watching the video and checking out the channel. Comment down below what your favorite PS2 game is. If you want us to make more content like this one, please be sure to let us know by hitting that like or dislike button. Feel free 
free to hit us up on any of our social media platforms, including our Discord community server, all listed in the description down below. And yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Blake, and for all things tech games to really anything nerdy in between, be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.